Hi, lots of, lots of stuff has happened since the last time uh, part one was made. It's literally been a few days, I've got a haircut, um, lots of changes in the world, but we're gonna go ahead and pick up where we left off uh, with how to load tracks in Ableton. Um, and so last we left off was to, was to pull the tracks from Planning Center and to put them on the desktop. Now we're gonna take them from the desktop and put them into Ableton. And so, here we go. Um, so there we've got the tracks. Where's my mouse? Here we go. So you've got the tracks right here, and they're all labeled what they are, the song titles, um, invitation, that kind of thing. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to launch Ableton, which I've already done that, so it's actually up here. And so I'll drag this over her. And uh, I'm going to do a couple of things. First thing I'm going to do is um, delete the things I don't need. And so I don't need a delay, so I hit just delete. I don't need a reverb, I hit delete as well. I only need one column for audio and one column for MIDI. So I'm gonna take out the one audio and then one MIDI. So you should have, your column should look like this. MIDI, audio, and master. And so I will go ahead and rename these what they are. And so uh, it's kind of hard to do this. Let's see how, we, how we're gonna do this. So I'll go ahead and, okay. Nope, let's, let's try that. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and name these what they're going to be. Um, each of these master files right here. So I right click on the one, click rename. Um, I'm still going to leave it one so it's easy to see the shortcut. Um, the first song we're doing is um, Furious. So one Furious, and then rename, and then two Oceans. And then three renamed to Invitation Welcome. Or really just the welcome. Um, we'll, have, we'll have a separate one for Invitation later. Rename four to four. And then Good Good Father. And I'm going to drag these out so that you can see the whole title. Five, we're going to rename to Invitation. Slash Next Steps. You know, you could even say slash giving. Uh, basically, whatever whatever cue is coming up in, in the gathering. And then six, six is good, good father reprise. So I'm going to say good father reprise. Okay. And then that's it. No, there's no seven. So I delete out seven. No eight. Delete out eight. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these files that are over here. So see how I renamed each of those? Um, and I'll show you why I kept the number in the front of it in a second. You're going to take the file right here, so good father, re and just basically drag it to where, where it goes to. So we'll, do, we'll just do it in order. So Furious is first. You drag Furious into the audio queue, okay? And then that's, so Furious is in there. Next is Oceans. That's in there. Then Welcome. So we've got the Welcome and Invitation track here. We're going to drag that up. To welcome invitation and then after that we've got good good father and uh, sometimes they're labeled differently depending on the campus needs um, so like if one campus doesn't have keys or doesn't have bass or whatever we can put a lot of that stuff in the tracks and so just always be mindful of the tracks that you're pulling making sure you're pulling the right ones um, invitation and next step we, we, we typically use the same groove and the same jam for the welcome and the invitation um, it just kind of makes it, it, it uh, allows us to put a lot in a little amount of time on Sunday mornings if we have kind of things that are, that are guided out like that. We're always flexible, but uh, that always helps. And then next is the Good Father Reprise. And so we go through that. While that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add, you have to add a mini queue or a MIDI queue or a MIDI scene. So I'm going to go click uh, Control and I'm going to say Insert MIDI Clip, okay? and it puts one in there. So I'm gonna do the same thing for each of them. I'm gonna do the same thing for each of them. Right click on each row, insert MIDI clip. And I can, I can do this while the tracks are still loading in there because it does take a second to load the audio in there. Insert MIDI clip, so that's done. Um, now the next thing I'm gonna do is Go ahead and see where it says warp right here. 
Yeah, you need to make sure you unclick the word warp on each of the tracks. So basically you can um, you can go down each track and then unselect warp. Each track, unselect warp. And basically just continue to do that for each one. Uh, warp kind of, I'm not sure exactly what warp does, but warp is not good. If you ever fire a track on, on, on a Sunday morning in rehearsal and you say it sounds really slow or offbeat or just something, something's off, chances are the first, place, the first place I would check is the warp button to make sure that the warp is not set. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is create the shortcuts, and so I click on key, which is going to allow me to assign um, the key shortcut. So I, so I select the one I want, and then I hit the one. And see how it puts a little one right there next to it? And so I'll go down to each one, two, three, 